Hey there YouTube. Today I'm doing a quick video review of the Cozy Coop. Uh, it's recommended by the Chicken Chick. Even though she clearly says that chickens don't need heaters. But if she were going to recommend one, for some reason, this would be the one. <laughs> so, personally I'm opposed to Chicken Coop heaters. Because they cost money. And are just unneeded. But... I'm going to give you some data, and you can judge for yourself. We're going to look at a few things in this video. I'm going to look at the power usage on both heat settings. I'm going to look at how hot the actual surface of the heater gets. And I'm going to compare the inside and outside temperature of the coop. It says 200 watts. We're going to see. And there's the UPC. So here's the chicken coop. And run. Looks like everybody's outside. Oh, one white chicken's in there. Let's see how this thing does. So the control has two settings. It has two and one. And a little LED to tell you if it's on. So that's kind of nice. Uh, my run, I actually put plastic on it in the winter to keep the run a little bit warmer so there's no wind blowing through. And I don't make it a perfect seal. I leave the front exposed here so they can roost here and look out, you know, on the winter. And I don't cover the top a little bit on one side to make sure humidity doesn't build up in here. I got my water warmer, which is just an aquarium heater, plugged in in the Sturbo Cube along with the chicken, the cozy coop. So, alright, so I have it on two right now which I assume is the highest setting and it is reading 185 watts. I'm going to switch it down to low. It's about 85 watts. Just the control back up to high. Okay so 185 watts. So, hello chicken. I'm going to test the surface temperature of this. Looks like it's about 160 degrees. Let's just give it a second. So this is pretty consistent with what I got last night when I checked it. Uh, it's about 165 degrees. And this is on high. The bottom of the stand is pretty cool. It's like 80 degrees near the... Okay, that's even cooler. Oh, there it goes. It's like 100 degrees or so near the bedding. Testing a piece of wood in the coop right here, and it says it's like 33 degrees, which is pretty good because it's 25 out, so it's like a 10 degree difference. Test the bedding here, 33. The chicken's chasing a laser pointer. I didn't know they did that. That's hilarious. Forgot I stuck a thermometer in here. Okay, so the inside of the coop is 34 and the humidity is actually pretty high right now that's concerning i'm unsure if it has to do with the cozy coop um there's no condensation on the roof i think it's just the air i guess the only way to tell would be to put this outside and come back and check it all right it's been a half hour it looks like the humidity outside is actually 16%. And the outdoor temp is 27. All right. And now, on the low setting, I see the temperature in the middle is 120-ish degrees. Before it was like 165, which seems strange. It seems like it's more efficient. Perhaps um, 
there's multiple elements in here, so it's not a linear temperature change. All right, so here's the numbers on the electricity usage. Where I live, energy cost is 14 cents kilowatt hour. Uh, then I did the math, and here are the tallies. I assume 30 days in a month. So it's not crazy expensive, but $75 buys a lot of feed. And I think the chickens would make better use of that $75 eating food and creating heat with their bodies than the space heater would. Plus, as the chicken lady points out, if the power goes out, the difference in temperature can shock the chickens. So, but there are the numbers. As I try to find a way to get the humidity level down in here, um, we'll keep testing this thing.